three Bowman Hobby Bolt Case. PYT 49. Much left of this stuff. We have two cases left. They're both in the store. If you want hobby, my advice is to go buy it in the store. Because that's it. We got two left. I told Backer to buy more. His response was everything that we have is in the store. three at a time. First back orange card. Knuckles, the best will probably go tomorrow. It, it should go tomorrow. I'll push the best tomorrow. It's so close. I don't know why it, it won't go. It's so... Best is good. It's fun. I want to do some Bowman's best. singing telegram
Alright, we'll do three at a time. Just upload this video. This Jumbo 68. Was it? Yeah. Singing telegram. All right, here we go. We'll do three boxes at a time. Good luck. Josue de Paula. Giving you guys this for free, by the way. It was in a paper box. It shouldn't have been there. Bruander. I said that before the break, but I figured I would just show it. So somebody's not confused why they got it. Munoz <laughs> on this uh, the the uh, lime green paper. Corbin Carroll on the. In the spotlight, Peyton Graham Atomic. For the Tigers on the Peyton Graham. I am your sending telegram. Junior. Corona, have a drink. Kennedy to one fifty and an auto. Oh, it's a good one. How about Jacob Berry to one fifty? For Knuckles and the Fish, I told you the the Marlins were good, dude. I told you the Marlins were a good take. When we were doing the other break, I literally said, I can't believe that the Blue Jays and the Marlins are still there. And then, boom, there it is. That more than pays for your break spot. <laughs> You're already in the black. And positive and free rolling. Nice Jacob Berry. Ario Shendrick on the Lunar Glow Refractor, a.k.a. Kiwi. Arroyo on the base. Yeah, that's a good sign because it means good name, which means potentially redemption. You never know. Roderick for the Yankees. More Yankee signs. If it ain't a sign, it's a sign. Roderick was to $2.99 on some speckle business. Yeah, I think that's the, ni the nicest Jacob Berry I've seen all day. I, I know I hit him a couple times today, but I'm not sure I've hit him with a low number as low as 150. I don't think so. Yeah, that's definitely the best Jacob Berry auto I've hit all day. It's the best Jacob Berry I've hit all day. All right, box number two, Drew, on that base. Excuse me, on the insert. Jackson Churio on the insert. Jace Bowen for the Pirates on the Atomic. The 
Marlins are underpriced, in my opinion. They're not that cheap, Chase. They're like in the middle. They're like they're not a cheap team. They're like a good value team. The Marlins are correctly priced. They're correctly priced. They shouldn't they shouldn't sit the way that they do. They should just sell. They're, just, they're silly to sit. Cabrera for the Yankees. Marcos Cabrera on the Lunar Globe Refractor. Purple paper piece of the Martian. And an auto. Who is this guy? Who are you? Kanan Smith Najigba. Najigba. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. I have no fathom, fathomable idea. My, my, I, I can't even. Naj, Najigba? Nigba? Is it Nigba? I don't know. It's a pirate. It's a rookie auto. I've never seen his name before. His brother just got drafted by the Seahawks? Well, then he's probably one hell of a freaking athlete. He's on the Pirates. The Pirates are probably lucky to have him. Jose Peroza. <laughs> Lunar Glow Refractor. And then Moises Ballesteros on the Fuchsia. He recently got sent down. Why are you obsessed with the Red Spencer, Chase? You just want to see if they if they exist or not I mean they're red man there's only five of them red doesn't grow on trees chase <laughs> it's, it's kind of rare Lazaro Michael Garcia rookie paper oh that's right Lab red lava also that's true there are ten Young in the spotlight. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Losing my religion. Ronnie Simon, Atomic. <laughs> Obviously, he wants one, yeah. Anthony Paguero, Lunar Glow Refractor. <laughs> Travis is like, I knew it! Ha ha! Got you to admit it. <laughs> Almonte for the Reds, the number two in, in this product for them. It's a three ninety nine on the Lava Refractor. I think the lava, lava refractors are pretty snazzy looking cards. I see orange in the back of my handful, but I feel like it is paper. This is not paper. This is a chrome autograph. And its name is Jace Ballon for the Pirates. It's going to be a Pirates case, boys. It's Pirates time for the Swoo Trip. Oh, that Kanan Smith and Ajiba is also was a base auto. I didn't notice that. Two base autos for the Pirates. Yar. Mejia on the Lunar Glow Refractor. Mario Shendrick hosts Sway to Paula and an orange piece of paper named Ambiorus. Ambiorus. Tavares. Ambiorus. Ambiorus. Yeah, the super's been pulled for Spencer, yeah.
right. What's up, Ted? Uh, yes, I am, sir. 100%. I'll be on tomorrow. I'll be here at 4 p.m. tomorrow. I wonder if anybody else is on. Let me check the schedule. Oh, Mitch is actually on in the morning. There's a small chance that Mitch will rip it tomorrow. If he rips it, I'd be happy, though. Mitch is great. Where's the charger here? Oh, there it is. Uh, Mitch might rip it tomorrow. I forgot that Mitch is here in the morning. Oh, wow, I have to organize things for him. I totally, I thought I was coming into, I was following myself tomorrow. Whoops. Whoops. I'll have to clean up for Mitchell. Ted, you should jump into it anyway. Mitchell will probably rip it tomorrow morning if he can fill it. But definitely jump into the best of the best of the best. Mitchell will have a good time with it. He knows his shit. Enjoy it. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I was going to say it. It took forever. I was thinking to myself it took forever. I didn't see your sarcasm. It's a shame because I really like Bowman's Best.
I really like it. I really like it, Athletic. I think the UFOs are awesome, too. I like those UFOs. And you can get some big names on the UFOs, like Trout and all that shit. It's, they're good. It's a good product. All right, here we go. Boxes four, five, and six. There's Alex San or Axel Sanchez, excuse me, for the Mariners to 150. Drew Jones on the base. Spotlight for the Tigers. Junior Caminero. Base and Junior Garcia Atomic, Josue de Paula Base. Justin Crawford. How you doing on that Lunar Glow Refractor for the Phillies? How you leap? I love his auto. I'm obsessed with it. If I were a Shohei collector, I would just save up all my money and buy those kanji autos. Like any kanji auto I could find. Almonte Blue Lunar Paper Peace. Autograph. Ooh. For Chase and the Cubbies. 102 to 150. It's Mash. The Monster Mesh. Blue Lunar. Let's go, Chase. It's your guy. It's your guy right here. Who's more your guy? Spencer Jones or Mesh? It's gotta be Mesh. I know the answer is Mesh. I don't even know why I'm asking. Bobby Witt's more of his guy than I, any of them, though. Mash Mervis to 150 on that blue lunar. Very nice. Very nice. Mash is more your guy, right? Yeah. Oh, hello, Golden Brook Sleep. How you doing? Six out of 50 for Minnesota. Going to Nick. Wow. Yeah, Josh Allen's definitely his number one. That's true. The Josh Allen collector. Number one Josh Allen fan. All right, so you'll like this, Dale. I'll tell you guys, you got you guys will all like this. This is true, okay? I'll tell you guys a true. It's not even a story. It's just it is what it is, all right? So Backer has a massage spot that he specifically goes to. Now, I'm not going to tell you which spot it is or where it is, but... We go there all the time, or at least we used to go a little more, but we we, we still go, but <laughs> he goes all the time. I go sometimes. Diane O'Ray, or Dylan O'Ray, excuse me. I do that every time. Dylan O'Ray on the uh, Lunar Glow Refractor. So anyway, when we go, Backer does the same thing. He has them just massage his hands and feet the whole time. Oh, hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Drew Jones to 25 with ink on the Invicta Auto. Hoo-hoo. For Joe. 13 to 25. Let me take a picture of an extremely low-numbered Drew Jones. Drew Jones. Well, I'll tell you something, Travis. Forget about how they look this year.
Forget about how they look. They're a lot more rare. They're a lot more rare. Like, the Invictus don't just, like, pour out like they did in the previous year. It does look red. When I, honestly, Chase, I swear, when I ripped it out, I thought it was a red card. I thought it was to five. I really did. It's orange. I looked, Until I saw the number, I really thought it was to five. Either way, we're happy as hell. All right, back to the story. <laughs> That's funny. Nice timing. Nice timing, Ducky. <laughs> All right, so the bottom line is for the story is that whenever I go with backer, he tips so good, so well. There's Trey Sweeney on the purple lunar paper piece. He's so nice to them. What's up, DCC? He tips so well. And, of course, their English is not all that great. So they... There's Oscar Colas, a 399 Lotta Refractor. Nice card for the White Sox. Um, I think that's going to Knuckles on the kill. Yeah. Um... <laughs> They don't know his name or anything. They don't know... Yeah, it's definitely Chinatown. They don't know his name or anything. Or I don't think they do. But they they call him Number One Customer. That's their nickname for Backer. He's the Number One Customer. Like, they could be closing. There's Vaquero on the Atomic. And then, ooh, Adley, Purple Paper Piece on the rookie Adley, like they could be closing and we'll be walking in. And, and like, if I, like, if anybody else walked in, it's we're closed, we're closed. But like he walks in and they look, oh, number one customer. Like how long, how long? Two hour, three hour? And backer's like, whatever, you know, let's just see how, however long, like he just says, oh, whatever, let's just, you know, we'll do at least like an hour and a half and then we'll just see how long it goes. And then he just falls asleep. And then he just gets a massage for like five hours. Number one customer. That's his nickname there. They love him. He is their favorite. Number one customer. He tips so big, it's insane. Every once in a while when he's like, you pay. He's like, like or he's like, oh, I don't have any cash. Just leave the tip. It's like, I, ha I tip as big as I possibly can. And they still look at me like I'm a cheap shit. And I'm just thinking to myself, yo, like... I just tipped you like 40%. <laughs> I'm just, I can only imagine what Bagger gives them. Number one customer. They love him. They love him. He is truly their number one customer. <laughs> I'm dead serious. They love him. It's so funny, though. If you guys are ever close enough, if you're... If you guys are, like, tight enough with Backer, and you ever happen to be in Vegas, and you ever happen to be hanging out with him, like, if he takes, if you're, if you're with Vegas with him, and you guys are just going to dinner, just say, hey, let's go get a massage afterwards. If he says, he'll say yes, and then he'll bring you to this spot, and you'll see exactly what I'm referring to. The number one customer. Kevin Parada, team color match, nice card. I love this picture, by the way, on Parada. I love this picture. To 150, 70 to 150 on the Parada for the Mets going to MK80. Um, no, it's not. It's a legit, legit place, DCC. Tristan Casas on the, uh, on the, in the spotlight. Trey Sweeney Atomic. Um, what's next? I mean, if you guys fill it, they will come, you know? If you build it, they will come. If you guys killed the full case of Bowman's Best, I would do it. Or if you killed the five boxer, or the four boxer of Bowman Jumbo, I would do it. But that one's a little far away. Bowman's Best is closer. Benny from the block on the LG Fractor.
Drew Jones, space. Otherwise, it's really okay. Mitch will be here at 8 in the morning, and he's going to rip fire for you guys. He's been on a heater. Autograph. Splat out. Nikal to a hundo spot. Two steps ahead. Four steps behind. 96 out of 100. Hence the four steps. A one, two, three, four. Nice Nikal, though. Serta on the Lunar Glow Refractor. Drew Jones on the insert. There's so few first pitchers prospects in this product. And the guy for the Giants, we sleeve and top load. We sleeve him anyway. Blake Glubier is like the only pitcher that doesn't get sleeve. I kind of feel bad for him. Sometimes I put him in the sleeve pile anyway by accident because he's still first. And then I don't go back to change it because I just feel bad for him. <laughs> He's literally like one of the only, if not the only, first. DCC, do you see a Pearl Pack anywhere? Don't believe everything you hear, buddy. We gotta find it first. We gotta find it first. <laughs> One more. Come on. Ah. We're going to have three more boxes at our shot for the pearl. Obviously, I'm just teasing DCC. He can handle it. He can handle it. DCC, if it went in the trash, it would have been intentional, not on accident. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, no Pearl Pack. There's that beautiful thing called the overhead camera. And unless my ugly ass bald spot is in the way, you guys are e easy to see. Easily able to see. The lack of the Pearl Pack. Dun dun dun. Yo, you know what's crazy is I didn't pull a singer a single Spencer Jones autograph until today. And today I've got three, baby. Uno dos Trace. I have a feeling Chase is right. I honestly think Chase is right. I bet there is a redemption here. I don't see one yet, and I'm not looking for it. But I bet there is one. Because we've seen big names, autos in this case. Chase has been right about a lot of shit that I disagree with him on. I never disagree with him on this particular topic, but I feel like you might be right on this one too, Chase. That Spencer Jones redemptions that so your theory is that a case with a redemption has big names in it. You know what you gotta do, Chase? Here's what you gotta do. There was a case that I did towards the beginning of, of when we ripped 23 Bowman. It was by far the greatest case I've done. And you should go back and see if I hit a redemption in it. Because I might have, but I don't think it was Spencer Jones. I forget who it was, but I, I think... Oh! I just remembered. Oh my god. You might be right, Chase. You know what I hit? I think it was out of the same case. It was a dual auto of Elijah Green and Vaquero, numbered to 25. They're not numbered to higher than 25. I think I hit a dual auto of Vaquero and Elijah Green in a case towards the beginning of Bowman. And I'm telling you right now, Chase... I'm like 90% sure it was the greatest case I've ever hit, I've ever seen in Bowman Jumbo, from what I saw. It was like insane. I think I hit a Cam Collier Atomic in the same case. 
and then like Bonilla gold auto. It was it was it was ridiculous. It was the most ridiculous case ever. You should go back and find that recap. And if you're right, I think there was a dual auto in there. <laughs> I don't smoke anymore, DCC. We can't be ashy unless we include weed in the conversation. And by the way, I totally will. Eventually, I'll probably go to Turkey and get those, get that surgery, get those hair plugs or whatever. I'll do it. Don't threaten me with a good time, DCC. DCC, you gonna make the trip with me? You coming to Turkey? No, I still do the vape, but that's different. No, I don't do no no nicotine knuckles, just just THC. Nick, didn't we already hit Julian? I thought we hit Julian. What did I hit for you, Nick? I thought I hit something for you. Was it the last break that I hit for you, Nick? What did I? Oh, was it Gold Brook Sleep? That's what it was, right? Gold Brook Sleep. I like that expression, from ashy to classy. Wifey wants me to just shave it off, by the way, Trav. Oh yeah, they got great stuff here in Vegas. That'd be awesome, DCC. I feel like you... Something tells me you tried to do that already, DCC. What? Why do I get the feeling like I... Like this is a strategy that you've already attempted? I've seen pictures. You've sent me them. You've sent me pictures of you doing your own hair. I, I will say right now, I will never let you cut my hair. <laughs> I say, I say that with love. <laughs> yep, I think you sent me those pictures, DCC. <laughs> I, I feel like you sent me the, the trial, the trial period <laughs> pictures of the goofy cuts. Ladies love it. I believe it. The ladies love silly stuff. It's true. Drew Jones on the insert. Atomic of Gutierrez and a fuchsia paper piece of Mr. Aaron Judge Court being in session. All rise. Interesting random card coming up. I don't even know what to make of it. It's not like bad. It's not good. It's kind of just like... What's that thing? It makes you think. Watch him call it. Things that make you go, hmm. What was that from? Things that make you go, hmm. Like that. That makes me go, hmm. Jackson Holiday, number to 125 on a prospect insert. Not autograph. Things that make you go, hmm, for 200, Alex. Yes, I'm pretty good at pulling Mariners, honestly. Let's find a Mariner for Cal. I've got some decent Mariners for Cal. See if we can't find some more. That was Arsenio Hall. Things that make you go, hmm. Auto. It's Colby Thomas. Base auto for the A's going to Noah. 
We hit a gold Colby Thomas for Noah earlier tonight. Nice. Rada for the A's to four ninety nine on the refractor piece for Paul. Paul gets a rod. And then Kauza. Shiza. Kauza on the Lunar Glow Refractor. Abdias de la Cruz, Lunar Glow. Oh, there's Kyle Harrison, the pitcher, pitching prospect that we do sleeve and top load. Lazaro on the Invicta, and Angel Janau. 250 to 250 for the Guardians. Auto, it's Nick Vaught. Refractor Inc. for the Mar uh, excuse me, why don't I'm thinking Mariners because I'm trying to hit a card for Cal. And I bump into a Padre. It's a Padre. For Bobby. 1973. Nick Vaught was born 27 years after you, Bobby. <laughs> 27 years. You were 27 years old when Nick Vaught was born. Cam Collier on the Lunar Glow Refractor. How you doing? Our huge, big, hearty handful here. Let's get it, get it. Yeah, I've never seen one. I've never pulled one, Chase. I also haven't pulled... The hidden gems that Jags pulled two of in one case. Harris for the Braves in the spotlight. I kind of want to pull another dual auto. How about that? How about that? What Would you be sad or happy if we pulled a redemption? Oh. Drew Jones Atomic for Joe. Diamondbacks doing quite well on this break. Um... Would you be happy or sad, Chase, if we pulled a redemption, but it was a dual auto and it wasn't for you? It's kind of a trick question. <laughs> Indifferent. All right. I dig it. I like that. I respect that. Has Blez pulled any die cuts? I don't think we have. We pulled two of the hidden gems, but those aren't die cuts. That's different, right? The hidden gems are totally different, right? I saw that Jax pulled a Julio hidden gem. What color are you? Is that gold paper coming up? Purple, purple lunar paper piece of Mario Shendrick. Ariel Almonte on the lunar glow. And then a golden paper of Seeger. Seeger for the Rangers. I don't know, DCC, but I, I think that the hidden gems do. I don't know. Somebody, like, basically, this is all I know. All I know is, nice, Ted. All I know is that Jags hit those hidden gems. Nobody really, like, made a big deal out of it in the chat, because I don't know shit. And Hawk didn't say anything. Nobody really knew that they were super rare. And then, like, a week later or a few days later... Jags was like, yo, somebody's telling me that these hidden gems that I hit two in the same case of are, like, super rare. Ooh, speaking of Vaughn Brown, my little nephew, the square root of Vaughn Brown for the Giants. Their value here for riches. I say for riches. Um, so, yeah. So, he was like, oh, somebody told me that these... these Hidden gems are like super rare and that they're highly desirable. And I was like, we none of us had any idea. Um, I haven't looked up how much they go for, but I have a feeling the Julio one that Jags hit is probably a, a very nice one and a pretty respectable hit. 
Somebody sent the math in the chat today, and the math was like insane. It was like one in like 175,000 packs on the hidden gems, I think. Can somebody verify that? What the odds are on the hidden gem? All right, this is an orange shimmy. Orange shimmy! Of Vaquero. How about that? We were just talking about this guy. I was talking about hitting his dual auto. Christian Vaquero. Vaquero, 3 out of 25. Orange shimmy for Scott Thompson. And the Nationals. Nice piece. We like orange. Is there proof that it's all from the same case? DCC? Peraza on the insert. And an Atomic, nice. Atomic of Kyle Harrison for the Giants. For Riches. No way. You watch the break? That's crazy. It sure is. It's like eight, It's like over 8,000 cases, Dram. It doesn't make sense. I don't think that I don't think that number could possibly be right. Because there's no way they made that many cases to make a hidden gem that rare. And if they did, they sure as fuck wouldn't put two in them. Although, never put it past tops given their collation. Imagine if they made one every eight thousand cases, and then they actually put two in in one case. Realize how ridiculous that would be. You also realize how many of them exist if they made one in every 8,000 cases. How many cases do you think they made? 20,000? 30,000? Probably less. Yeah, send it to me on Instagram, DCC. I'll watch that shit for sure. I gotta see that. But I don't... I don't know. I don't want to just see a recap video. If you didn't watch the break, I don't believe them. I don't trust these people. I don't trust... I, don't, I just don't. Oh, the whole break? Then yeah. Then send that over. I'll watch it. Uh, Kingsley, I'll take a look after this break is done, which is close. Only three more boxes out of the 12. We're in the, the home stretch, the final quarter of the break. But it's more likely to go tomorrow. Jumbo full case tomorrow. Jumbo four boxer also probably tomorrow. But I will take a look after this break. And if it's super close, I'll do it. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to rush home. I'm happy to do it if it's super close. No, it won't, Graham. I'll bet you whatever you want that it will not show up before day thirty of the bounty. I've thought about this a lot. There is no way in high hell it's showing up before day thirty. I'll tell you right now, no shot. Kingsley, didn't you buy in already? Why is your name not bolded? I just turned your name into blue. I've seen you. I've seen you in breaks, Kingsley. Pretty sure I've seen your name in breaks. Halfway full is probably not close enough to push. Yeah, I don't have any proof, Dram, but I'll I'll bet it. There's no way it's showing up. I just know how this shit how it goes. I just know how it works, how these people think, how they are. There's no way it shows up before day 30. Damn, Dale, where did that comment come from? Henny's offended. Henny, hit him with an offended emoji. Let's see an I'm offended emoji. I bet Henny's got one of those. 
Hit us, hit, hit Dale with the I'm offended emoji. Dale, this is cancel culture, culture baby. You gotta be careful. <laughs> they'll cancel your ass. Like June Park when he talks about North Korea, they'll cancel his ass. <laughs> Whoa, Denby fighting words right there, right there. Wow, that emoji, that emoji looks like, what's that, what's that? Division 9 or something? Section 9? That movie where the guy turns into an alien? You look, that, that little face, that little emoji looks like those little alien faces. No, you really want to know what it looks like? District 9. It looks like a cross between the, the aliens and District 9. And if you really want to know what it looks like, and this is really the winner right here. Go pull up Daft Punk Technologic. That's what it looks like. Go ahead. Daft Punk, the video. Daft Punk Technologic. That's what that emoji looks like. And Dale... Here's, here's how we'll settle this. Here's how we'll settle this. Ready? Athletic and Henny and Penny. Whichever of the two of you has eaten bird's nest soup is more Asian than the other one. <laughs> if you've both eaten bird's nest soup, it's a tie. Oh, it's a tie. I love you both. This is great. Of course I have. Obviously I have. That's what they both say. That's great. No, it's a delicacy. It's it's very it's a delicacy, Travis. Meanwhile, there's a guy with the last name Wong in the chat who's laughing his ass off at you two at you two guys. <laughs> This is great. This is great. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Go pull up the video. Technologic. Oh, it sounds disgusting, Travis. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know how it's like? It's like it's like birds spit. It's like birds spit all like stuck together. It's 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 not. It's whatever. It's like birds spit. It's like, it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Technologic. Technologic. Go ahead, look at the video and tell me that emoji is not technologic. Athletic has conceded to Henny. It's because Henny is more... He's more well-versed in the emoji fighting skills. Therefore, he takes the Asian crown of Blez Baseball. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Yo, chicken feet look disgusting. I've lived in Chinatown for eight years in New York City. Chinatown, Little Italy, right on the border. My wife and I went to Chinatown supermarkets all the time. I love so much of that unique food. I've never tried it until I lived there for years. It was awesome, but there's definitely a few things that I did not give a chance. And I'll eat almost anything. Like, if I was with either of you guys, like, if Dale or Henny was like, oh, yeah, try this, uh, the chicken feet. Trust me. It's really good. I'd be like, all right, fine. But if you don't tell me it's really good and know how to cook it, like Randy from, uh, like Randy says... From American Idol. It's going to be a no from me, dog. <laughs> purple Christian Serta on the purple Ray Wave Vaquero in the spotlight and in Elijah Atomic Peace for the Nationals. Spencer Jones. Henrik Jones. 
<laughs> An Atomic Carson Williams. My favorite number to 150 on the Atomic insert. The 56th rank prospect out of a top of hundo. I love chicken skin, though. I like it when it's crispy. It's like... And also, it, you got you, Asians love duck. I love duck. That's like my favorite. I loved going to those Peking duck houses. Oof. Is that those are is that those are Chinese though, right? The way they do the duck, that's all Chinese. Oh wow, that's so funny. Athletic just said the only skin that is good is duck skin. I bet you said that before I just said before I said what I said. I didn't see your comment. Leandro Arias on the Lunar Glow Refractor, a.k.a. the Kiwi. It's a Kiwi. I like that Sarah calls them Kiwis. I like that. I hijacked it from you. Sorry, Sarah. Vaughn Brown. Base autograph. My little, my little nephew twice in this break. The square root of Vaughn Brown. Base auto this time, though, from Vaughn. Jones, and the Lunar Glow Refractor. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it, Dale. Trust me. <laughs> oh wow, you're from where sriracha is made? That's awesome. Send me a life supply of sriracha, please. <laughs> My wife loves sriracha. I like sriracha too. Sriracha is amazing with chicken. It just it's just true. It is. It's I'm not sure there's other sauces that I would prefer to use other condiments over any uh, over sriracha with chicken. Sriracha is really like the greatest for chicken. There's a Jackson Holiday in the spotlight, an Atomic Encarnacion. That's nice. And then. Chase Young, blue paper. Sriracha seasoning at Costco. That sounds like it should be illegal, Knuckles. I might have to go buy some of that. I go to Costco all the time. I love Costco. Costco for the win. Crawford for the win, base. Cam Collier for the win, base. Peyton Graham, I think he was one of our earlier hits in this break. Now he's going to be one of our later hits. We hit his Atomic, I think it was. That's speckled at two ninety nine on Mr. Peyton. I ain't talking about Manny. Arroyo in the base. Diane Frias on the Lunar Glow Refractor. And then Goldie on some paper. Junior. Vroom, vroom, Camonero on that base. What is the bomb? What is that? I don't even know what that is. I've never even heard of it. What is the bomb? Auto Jefferson Rojas Speckle for the Cubs. Going to chase solid piece. So you got a little monster mash and you got Jefferson Airplane. Let's go. Is Jefferson Rojas the number two in this product for the Cubbies? I think he is, isn't he? Rid of water filter on the Lunar Glow Refractor there. Last box mojo. It's been an excellent case, but I would still love a little bonus cherry on top here at the end. But it's been a really great case. I feel like we're supposed to hit a redemption in this last box. What do you think, Chase? I know Chase agrees. Max Muncy on the Lunar Glow Refractor. Let's find something spicy on this last one. 
Come on now. Come on now. Arroyo. Base. Spencer Jones. Base. It's going to be Luis Ravero for the Red Sox, our final auto. And it's going to be a base autograph. Going to, Ch uh, to Dale. Excuse me. Dale. Cam Collier base, Raphael a paper piece, and Spencer Jones. You didn't get a redemption of him at the end, but you did hit a little color. 77 to 125 on the teal shimmy, aqua shimmy, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what they call it for the Yankees. The Yankees win. The Yankees win. Lazaro and Julian. I'm sorry, Nick. I've hit him, too. It's like... I feel like you've just been, like, zigzagging around the breaks where he's in, maybe, because he's not a total ghost. I feel like maybe you've had a little bad luck in getting in the cases where we actually connected with Julian. Adley in the spotlight. Lawler on the Atomic. Nah, don't be proud, Nick. We're gonna we're gonna break that streak, and then you'll be happy. You'll be more proud that we broke it than that you had it. Don't ever be proud of bad streaks. All right, let's see. Blue lunar paper of Alvarez, and that's the break. I'm gonna do a recap. Um, maybe I can do something for you, Nick. We'll see. I'll take a look at stuff after the break. After the recap. Here's the recap. Encarnacion, Kyle Harrison, Atomic. Seeger on the gold paper. Nice Drew Jones, Atomic. Collier on the Lunar Glow Refractor. Adley Rutschman on the purple paper piece. And Tavares on the orange paper. Some numbered chrome. Nice Spencer Jones to 125 there. Vaquero to 25 on the orange shimmy. Rada. To 499, Jackson Holly to 125 on the insert. Brooks Lee Gold, Almonte to 399. Moises, Corona, Roderick. Whole bunch of numbered paper and Atomics and Lunar Glow Refractors. Some base autos. Ravero, Don Brown, Colby Thomas, Kanan Smith, and Ajiba, and Jace Boat for the Pirates. The numbered autos, Jefferson Airplane, Rojas, the square root of Vaughn Brown, Nick Vaught, uh, Nick Cow, Atomic, Drew Jones, 25, Invicta Auto, Mash Mervis to 150, Lunar Blue, and Jacob Berry for the Fish to 150, also on the Lunar Blue. A few really nice autos there. Overall, very solid case. That was Bowman Hobby, full case, PYT number 49. Thank you so much for joining, guys.